guys, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is Glory, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is a general reading. This may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, check out your placement. Mm -hmm. Looks like Aries, uh, someone does want a reconciliation, or this could be you who is no longer crying over spilt milk and you're trying to move away and move forward, okay, from whatever happened here. This can go two ways, but yeah, this is more of like someone who's just moving forward, okay. You could be moving on from a huge disappointment that occurred in this connection here. Could be a breakup that you're moving away from, you know, and you're trying to heal yourself from. But the moment you try to move on, there's someone rushing in towards you, okay? The problem here is that you were probably wanting something more serious, something more committed from someone who's been very wishy-washy, very in and out, okay? So this is a very casual energy is what I'm saying, okay? You all know what Nido wants is, right? So someone, yeah, who they, they got the passion, they got the hearts for you, but then, well, does that lead to a commitment? Hell no. Tell me more. Tell me more. Yeah, this person is someone here, you know, who needs to make a choice whether they want commitment with you or not. Could be a long distance relationship for a few of you, doesn't have to be for everyone. Uh, but this is definitely someone here, you know, who needs to make a decision. This person's at a crossroads here, but the problem here is that this person fears change. Okay, this person fears change, they fear, um, it's a very timid energy that I'm getting, okay. So when it comes to the passion, when it comes to coming towards you with in that full speed, in that full throttle, they're in for it, okay. But, um when it comes to making a decision a very mature decision making that bold move okay towards you where it's like you know what do it you know what i want aries i want to give it to you it's only you that's when they try to you know chicken out that's what's happening here so this person tries to keep it safe they try to stay in their comfort zone okay they're they're, they're trying to make a more safer choice rather than exploring the unknown with you tell me more yeah it uh, looks like you are pretty much fed up and pretty much done okay uh, about uh, stressing and worrying about this person here. This person, uh, agree, this person could have taken up a lot of space in your head, okay? And there's a lot of worry from your side, a lot of anxiety, okay? A lot of sleepless nights that you had worrying about what happens next with this person, you know? Uh, a lot of your, uh, this was a huge emotional loss for you guys, okay? And I feel that this is someone here, you know, who um, you constantly kept thinking about how you can make things right with them. But it looks like you are more in a space where you know what if it happens happens if it doesn't i'm done okay because the stress anxiety panic mode sleepless nights is something that you don't really want and you are moving out of that i think you're the first time you're trying to face your fears about this connection here maybe you're trying to face the fears that it's over maybe all this while you were just trying to constantly think about what you can do to save this relationship but yeah i think you're facing your fears now tell me more yeah, but this person isn't being able to walk away, okay? They tried to walk away from this connection here, but they can't. They're coming back, okay? They're coming back in that, again, the same old shitty Knight of Wands energy here. Knight of Wands, yes, it does have a very bad rep here. This is just someone here who I know wants you, for sure. I know they want you, okay? Because when there's an emotional loss here, this is not one-sided. This seems to be more like a two-sided uh, thing, okay? Where you both felt the loss here. But the thing is that this person out here, you know, the moment you pull away, that's when they want to come back in again, okay? Just one second. Yeah. Let's see. We're still going to clarify, so we'll get to know more. Tell me more about what's going on with Aries and love. Yeah. <laughs> see, so much timid energy. So what this person wants to rush in, they want to come towards. You know, this could be two people that you're dealing with. One who's very passionate about you, okay? And the other one who's emotionally closed off. If you're not dealing with two people, this is one person here who has all the, who has all the passion for you. But when it comes to expressing themselves emotionally, they're scared. They don't want to be uh, vulnerable, you know? So that's when this person tries to run away from their emotions, okay? I'm getting someone here who tries to run away from emotional vulnerability. They don't want to be vulnerable, which is why they don't try to make a choice, okay? They know that making a choice, choosing between you, committing to you, and not committing to you, okay? The not committing part is better off because you don't have to be vulnerable, okay? But if they choose you, they know that they have to completely open up to you, okay? Which makes them vulnerable. Yeah. So yeah, this is someone you're very, very immature, not only emotionally, but I think they're, uh, they, they lack expression of emotions. Yeah, of course, right? This person's obsessed with you. Very, very obsessed with you. And I think they're obsessively in love with you is also what I'm getting. But uh, the, 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 the external view that they, that you see from them is the neither ones here this is the one that they show this is the one that they don't show you know so they show you that they're passionate about you they'll flirt with you you know they want to get you they're, they're all over the place when it comes to you you know they want you but the part that they don't show you is the obsession 
Okay. And that's what's coming out in the cards here. This person is very obsessed with you. There's a strong connection, which is why even you're probably uh, thinking about it day and night. Some of you may have even uh, be, some of you may have been successful in moving out of this connection, but that's for a few of you. Okay, let's take it. Yeah, now you're doing you, okay? I feel a few of you could also be pursuing a new career, a new passion, a new hobby. This is more career-oriented to me right now. It feels like you're just doing you. You don't really give a shit to this person here. See how this person's coming in and you're leaving, right? So yeah, like I said, a few of you or most of you have already understood that this person is occupying some space in your head, which is not really worth it, okay? This person is not, not worth the trauma, the stress, okay? I feel you could be pursuing your career, you could be doing very well in your career, you could have got a new opportunity in your career, okay, um, stepping it up. But I feel you're just going to pursue what makes you happy, you're very passionate about it, you're very confident. This person made you feel very insecure and the connection is also what I'm getting. But of course, right, you're dealing with someone very, very mature. So they come in and go, come in and go. And usually the Queen of Wands does not go for anything casual, okay, because she knows her worth, she knows her value. She, know what, she knows what she brings to the table. For my card. This person's a narcissist, narcissistic, okay? This person's still guarded, their guards are up, so there are chances this person won't fully open up to you. I'm getting two things here. Either this person, there's something happened in this relationship because of which this person's being so closed off, or this is just someone here who you're dealing with, okay, who's gone through a lot in the past, in another relationship, in a past relationship, where they opened up and, you know, the person had their ramp had them wrapped around their fingers and you know this person got messed up you know they screwed them over big time but this person is has still not given up let me tell you that okay they still haven't given up they're pretty wounded uh frustrated okay but their walls are still up pretty guarded right now this person wants to come back now okay this person wants to rebuild the connection okay because you brought in the tower okay you let the tower fall something that shocked the shit out of them but um what I don't like here is that I still don't see a king or a queen. A king here or a queen here from this person's side. The only queen I see here is you. Okay. Let's see. Let's start clarifying. Five of cups in reverse, please. Five of cups in reverse. Five of cups in reverse. What's the five of cups in reverse? So yeah, this person wants to come back and build the connection. They want to redo the connection here. I mean, this is someone here who does not want to let this end. Okay. They, don't, uh, they do not want to let this end. They don't accept this ending here, even if you may have closed this cycle with this person. They're not letting you go. They're not letting you go. The narcissistic wants to come back. Because they have the hearts for you. Five of cups in reverse, please. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're, you're moving on. Like I said before, you're moving on. You're moving forward. Focus on your career, your money, your goals, etc. Okay, you don't really give a shit to this person anymore. What's happening here is that you put the past in the past. Okay, that's what I'm getting here. You've let it go. You know, it's like, let be, let God. Okay, and um, I think you've put the past in the back. You've learned your lessons. And uh, you've had, how do we say it? Like an understanding of what really went on in the past year. No longer suffering. Okay, no longer investing your energies into something that's already over and done with. Nobody wants this. Okay. Mm. This person is someone here, okay, who is either kept you... Um, this person daydreams about you, period, okay? They daydream about you, they could have had a lot of options, you know, they could have made you feel like an option here. I'm not getting that so much here, I'm getting that this person daydreams a lot about you. So yes, when they think about you, they want to daydream, they want to think about having a life with you, uh, you know, being with you, coupling up with you, etc. But when it comes to action, right, the, uh, the action is very immature towards you, okay? It's not something that they want to achieve or, you know, something which is a goal. It's more like something that they desire, if you understand the difference. Uh, give me one more card. Uh, one more card for the Knight of Wands. One more card for the Knight of Wands. Let's see what's this confusion. What's this confusion? Yeah. This person out here uh, now wants to move towards you. Okay. They want to move away from any kind of confusion. I think they want to come towards you. They're ready to make that movement towards you. Now that you pulled away from them. Yeah, they want to at least start communication. If you, if many of you guys haven't communicated, they're coming in with communication for sure. Okay. This is more like trying to smoothen out the conversation with you guys, you know, within you guys, get into better, uh, get out of rocky waters, you know, trying to smoothen the connection is what I'm getting here. They want to break through, that's for sure, okay, but they want to make things better between you and them. That's their intention. Two of wands in reverse. Two of wands in reverse. Two of wands in reverse. Hmm. 
say this person stuck in their head. They refuse to make a decision here. They refuse to make a decision here. Okay. Now, one decision, one thing I feel like you're coming off as someone very, very cold, very, very practical, very logical. And um, yeah, you could be intimidating this person. This person is staying emotionally detached. You get what I'm saying? They're trying to block you out. They're trying to stay balanced here, okay? Because this person knows that the moment they try to make a decision about you, it's more like a make or break decision, make or break situation here, okay? It's either this or that. And this is a very tough decision that they need to make here, okay? And they're still refusing to make that choice, okay? Nine of Swords in reverse, why is that? Why is the Nine of Swords in reverse? Okay, we'll take that. Yeah, you're focusing on your money, your goals, etc. Okay, but um, you know why I'm getting a lot of you? I think to try and distract yourself or to try to remove yourself and move on in a very healthy way. I feel a lot of you are making your money, your business, your career a big priority. Okay. Um, I feel you could be very focused on a new job. I don't know why I keep getting a new job, a new career, okay? But I feel you, if this person is not ready to offer you the stability, right? You're okay to let this person go. Give me one more card for the Nine of Swords and Divorce. One more card for the Nine of Swords and Divorce. Yeah. See, you're, you're, you're just, you're just taking a break, okay? And I think you're trying to heal. There's a lot of healing energy coming from your side here. It's more of money and career. Money and business. Something like that, okay? But yeah, it's like you see the light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah? And you're like, you know what? All is not lost. I can still get. I can still make it. I can still get out of this connection. I can still get out of this uh, toxic mindset, you know? That's going on constantly on your head. And probably put your focus on something else which is more productive. Eight of cups in reverse. This person wants the Ten of Cups, they want the happily ever after with you, okay? But their gods are up. How? How does that work, okay? This person really, really wants you. They want you. They want a happily ever after with you. They want that emotional happiness, fulfillment. They see you as a wish come true. They want to have a life with you. And they're coming back to return on that. What's the page of Cups and Rivers? Then why not open up? You might as well open up and tell Aries how you feel, right? Yeah, Aries is showing up as the Queen of Swords here, so yeah, that's what they're scared of. That Aries is gonna cut their head the fuck off. What's the page of cups in here? <laughs> this person's just waiting for the right time. They're waiting for the right time. They're not investing into this connection right now. I feel this person is just taking some time before they invest start investing into this connection. One more card for the page of cups in the list. I'm not I think they're trying to re-evaluate the situation, okay? Yeah, because this person fears rejection. So they're trying to... I, I'm getting here that this person is trying to think about what kind of an offer they can make to impress you or in a way where they can just get an entry back into your life. Okay? That's what I'm getting here. But they definitely fear rejection. Now, this could be someone here who you offered commitment in the past or someone you had uh, offered something more stable, okay? But this person rejected your offer and now they don't know how to get back to you. The devil. Why is the devil here? Why is the devil here? Hmm. Someone has fear of commitment. Someone has fear of commitment here, okay? This person, so you know what, this person sees you as a wish fulfillment here, okay, you make them very, very happy, they make you very, very happy, okay, so you both see each other as a wish fulfillment, but you know that, coming together and making, becoming one, you know, more like stability, security, that's something that they run away from, I'm getting here that this person is scared of commitment and they're just not ready for it, okay, they're not ready for it, what's the queen of wands, what's the queen of wands, and you could have communicated this very, very clearly to them, what's the queen of wands, yeah, now your guards are up, babe. Your guards are up. You're not letting this person in. You could have blocked this person, okay, social media, or you could have just energetically blocked this person, you know. I think you've just removed yourself with the nine of swords in reverse out here. I'm getting you've removed yourself. You're not letting this person um, bother you anymore mentally, okay? You're just not letting this person bother. You're sleeping better, trying to get some sleep, sleeping better, no longer stressing about this entire situation or connection with this person. Yeah, and your guards are up now. You know, it's not going to be easy for this person to come back towards you. Um, 
Queen of Wands, one more card. Queen of Wands, one more card. Yeah. And they they, they want to come towards you. They want to come towards you. The thing is that you're blocking yourself from this emotional communication here that this person is wanting to come to make towards you. Or maybe they have, you have the love for this person, but you're just going to keep quiet about it. That's what I'm getting. You're just going to suppress your emotions, you know, wear a false mask. Like, yeah, you know what? I don't care, dude. Like, I don't want it anymore with you, too. Something like that. The tower in reverse, please. The tower in reverse. They're not letting you go. They won't let you go. What's the tower in reverse? One more card. Yeah, this person won't let you go. They're missing you. They feel left out. They feel abandoned by you. This person won't let you go. They want to come back. They want to come back. They're feeling abandoned by you. You know this person I'm feeling? This person has a lot of love for you, okay? But the problem here is with expressing it. The problem here is with making that decision here, okay? I think if they make the decision, if they make up their mind, they can make it happen. But the problem here is that they're fearing. There's a lot of fear that is blocking this person from making a decision here. They're living more in their head rather than, uh, you know. Now, look, when this career, career needs to be handled with a more logical, a more practical way. Love is supposed to be handled with a lot of emotions here. Every zodiac sign that I see, there's one person here who's always holding back emotionally and trying to think about a situation more logically, okay? Not the one who's hurt, the, one, the other one, okay, who's probably not committing or the one who's running away. Because they don't want to be hurt, they don't want to be emotionally vulnerable. Huh? And that's exactly what's happening. You let the tower fall, now this person's still holding on to you tight, okay, they won't let you go. But at the same time, they're feeling so left out by you, so lonely by you. Because probably I feel you're not reverting back to their messages, you're ignoring their calls, you know. And this person is just feeling very, very abandoned by you, you're giving them the, shoulder, the cold shoulder. My issue out here is another thing is that this person needs to grow up. Okay. I think whenever uh, something like this has happened, I feel this has been with you guys a lot of times, okay? This is a repetitive cycle that you guys are going through. I feel this has happened many times with you guys, okay? So what happens every single time this happens and you go back to this person or you or this person convinces you, you know, to get them back or take them back or to start talking again. This time I think you're standing strong in your power, okay? You're quite standing, you know, standing for what you think is right. And this person is feeling very left out. Let them grow up. Okay, let them grow up. They need some time to grow up. They need to know that if they want a queen, they gotta be a king. Okay? Or vice versa. That's what I have for you. Do check out the extension. If you want to know how they feel, what are they thinking, what action they'll take, the near future and the outcome. Okay? Bye-bye. Okay? Bye-bye.